Ruben was instrumental in figuring out a methodology that allows us to actually work in uh, Dolby Atmos to apply pretty much what this console does, which is a, an in-series process of EQs and limiters, solid state and tube, all in line with each other that we can replicate in the digital sphere uh, for our work in immersive. So, um, do you want to talk about that one? Sure, so what Gavin's talking about is what we now call the phantom bus process, and we developed this about two years ago, and maybe a little over two years ago actually, and it works great because it allows us to achieve all of the things that we achieve, or anybody achieves, in stereo processing. In other words, if you're EQing into compression, that compression reacts in relation to that EQ, they know about each other. Now it's difficult to achieve in object-based audio. When we're dealing with stereo, we're dealing with a left and a right feed. We can put processing on that feed in series. When you're dealing with object-based audio, you're dealing with not a bus. There's no bus to put the processing on because you're dealing with all of this non-discrete audio that's being pointed in an XYZ coordinate in space on a, on a, on a sphere. So if you have a bunch of different objects, uh, and you want to globally process them, and you want to slap a compressor across all of them, they're all going to be interacting with that compressor independent of one another, they're not going to be tied together. The way to tie them together is to fold down your entire object-based mix to mono. And that mono is the engine that drives the compressors to sidechain off of. And now you're all moving in, in unison, maintaining your correlation of your mix, much like it would if it was on a bus. But we can take it further, because one level of that is not enough to achieve what mastering engineers in general like to achieve. We like to work in series. We like to, as I was saying, EQ into that compression and have that compression react. And then maybe another compressor after that and another or a limiter and have all of these dynamic processes work in series as though you're working on a channel and uh, musically uh, in a favorable way. So you can do that. You can, you can fold down and take the output of that and fold that down take the output of that and fold that down so all of these fold downs are working in conjunction with the next compressor in series. That is, in short, the way we achieve the phantom bus process.